We can find Psych articles through the library's database page, which can be accessed by clicking on Articles and Databases on the library website menu. In the Databases by Title box in the center of the web page, we can find Psych articles by scrolling down towards the bottom. As you can see from the top of the web page, our APA Psych Articles subscription is actually made available through the ProQuest databases. It's actually just one of many databases that are available in ProQuest. If we click on the ProQuest at the top, we'll actually be taken to the general advanced search screen for ProQuest. If we ever find ourselves here and we want to return to Psych Articles, if we go and choose the option databases we can see a listing of all the databases available through ProQuest and APA Psych Articles is at the top. If we click on it we'll be taken directly to it. As you can see here at the top again it says ProQuest but then it also says underneath it APA Psych Articles. Going back to the databases we can change databases we can select a search for, uh, that goes across a number of different databases or as I did before we can just click on the database to be taken to that single database. But Psych Articles isn't the only database uh, collection that has psychological articles and journals that ProQuest offers. If we scroll further down toward the bottom of the list of databases we'll actually see that there is a psychology database. If we click on that we can now see that it says ProQuest Psychology Databases. So what's the difference between Psych Articles and the Psychology Database option in ProQuest? Well, there is a difference in content. There are different journals, uh, journals that aren't available in the Psychology Database because they're only available in Psych Articles. There's also a difference in interface options. Here in the Psychology Database, if we scroll down, to see more of the search options. We can see some pre-filtering options in addition to the search field where we enter in our search terms. And we can see there's full text and peer reviewed. We can look up subject headings and choose publication date. But we can also see that there's a group of four uh, categories here of additional filtering options. One is age group, the other is source type, document type, and then language. If we return to Psych Articles, we can actually see in the advanced search screen that there are a few more options. There's also impact statements, there's test measures and classifications, but we can see that now we have actually uh, more boxes. We have, in addition to record type, we have methodology, supplemental data, and then we also have population. Psych Articles is a database with full text peer reviewed articles that come from across psychology and behavioral and social sciences. They're published by the American Psychological Association, or the APA, and its affiliated journals. The key benefits of Psych Articles is not only the current journal coverage, but also the historic content dating back more than a century. And also, uh, for most journals, they have complete article coverage going back to Volume 1, Issue 1. But also, they have weekly updates. So as new research is published, it's indexed and incorporated into psych articles more quickly. And that indexing, uh, the finer grained and more filtering options that that provides, makes searching uh, easier and more powerful in psych articles in addition to the content that it has.